Hello everyone, I'm Matheus Beck, I'm a software QA engineer, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a cool Chrome extension called Tweak Mock that allows you to mock API requests directly into your browser. Mocking API is a very powerful testing technique that allows you to test edge case scenarios and also simulate different API behaviors without relying on backend changes. So to achieve that, just go to Google and search for Tweak Mock. It's the first result that's going to appear. This is the extension. Simply click on install and then add extension. This page that appears is the documentation. I highly recommend you to take a look on it for further information. And to check if the extension was installed, just go to extensions and see if you can see the tweak mock here. So let's dive into our first practical example. And for that one, I'm going to use the Pokemon API. Let me go there to Poke API. This API returns a lot of information regarding Pokemons. And as I said, when you are mocking an API, you can modify the HTTP response code, you can modify the response body, and you can also, for example, add a delay in your response. And in this case, we're going to modify our response and also add a delay to our request because here I want to test the loading message that appears here, but it appears very quickly. So for example, if I search for Charmander, as you could see, it was very, very fast. Maybe you want to test this. So let's add a delay on this request using the tweak extension. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to inspect and then um, network. Okay. Let me use another Pokemon, for example, Charizard. And here you can see the um, API, the request. I'm going to copy the request URL. I'm going to go here on the extensions, tweak. And I'm going to create a new rule. I'm going to paste the URL here. as, And you can, for example, modify the status code. So instead of 304, I'm going to return 200. And also, I'm going to put a five seconds delay here, so 5,000 milliseconds. I could modify the entire response body, for example, but I'm not going to do this right now. I'm simply going to copy the entire response that was originally, originally returned. I'm going to paste it here, and I'm going to remove uh, an attribute. I'm going to add a new attribute, and I'm going to edit one attribute. So. Let me close this so it's easy for us to see this. So here on name, I'm going to change this for big Charizard. I'm also going to add a description because there is no description field on this response. And I'm going to remove the abilities field just for testing purposes. And then I'm going to click here on play extension, enable extension. OK, so if I refresh the page, and if I search for Charizard again, then you can see the loading message appears for a longer time because of the delay. The attribute field is not here anymore. The name was changed for Big Charizard, as you can see here. And I also added a description field. The API will not appear here anymore because if you click here on the extension, you'll see a one sign here indicating that the extension has intercepted one request so far. To simulate this delay, of course, you could use throttling uh, directly into Chrome. But if you use this, you will make the entire web page to go slow. And sometimes you just want to simulate the behavior of one API going slow. Um, you also have more control because you can add the delay you want. And here you'll be uh, using you'll be simulating different internet connections, for example. Um, okay, so let's dive into our second example. For this one, I'm going to use the olx.pt. So what I want to test here is what happens if I search for something and it doesn't return any result. Will it show any message indicating that? So for example, if I search for Lord of the Rings, clear here. As you can see, 476 advertises. Let me translate this to English. Yeah. Uh, so 476 ads here. So what happened if this API didn't return anything? So as you can see, uh, on this web page, there are a lot of API, a lot of requests being made. 
But if you take a look on this and investigate a little bit, you will find these offers request here. And on these offers, you see that the if you search here for for 176, you see that this request is returning the information that we want because it shows the total of elements and it also has the um, all the all the items were returned here in this format with an ID with a link so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the header again copy this URL go to the tweak and I don't have to remove this I can simply add a new one I'm going to paste the URL here and I'm gonna go here on the response I'm gonna copy the entire response again go back to the tweak and paste it here so let me close these attributes again so it will be easier for us to understand what we have to do so here on links we don't actually need to modify anything uh, on the metadata yes of course let's change this to zero and this to zero and then this data array returns all the data of our search so i'm going to remove everything and just keep it as an empty array uh, it was already enabled so let me go back to olx and let me search for lord of the rings again as you can see didn't found any advertises and we can test our message we didn't find what we were looking for that's exactly what we wanted to achieve on this test so now let's dive into our third example and so far I've shown you two examples mocking get requests but you can mock a post request a delete request a put request let me show you how to mock a post request in our browser for that I'm going to search for Harry Potter Google form quiz so here's the Harry Potter trivia quiz let me inspect the web page again let me go here on the network and for example on this first question if I change my response you see that my answer will be saved so for example let me put here seeker the right answer as you can see draft saved why draft saved because this API here draft response is a post method that returned it 200 okay but what if this API returned it 500 so let me copy here the request URL go to the tweak let me create one more row and instead of a get method let me change this to post and instead of returning 200 okay let me return 500 okay let me just put this as an empty JSON and then let me click on play so now when I change my response the API will return 500 so will the message will the answer be saved or an error will appear so let's try let's change this for chaser and it was saved successfully let me try one more time uh, okay let me click here okay it didn't intercept our request let me try using this one is this one different from this one they look the same but let me try again let me copy this and paste it here okay post 500 empty JSON and let me change my answer for keeper for example yeah unsaved draft unable to save our draft because now our tweak is intercepting it okay this was intercepted and then we are not able to change our response because it will always return 500 and that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it helped you somehow to understand better about api mocking and we could um, mock thousands of different apis here i've shown you three practical examples on how to do that thank you for watching and see you next time